Hey. What you need? Here, have sure. some. Uh... Be glad to take. I, I mean, hold some stuff for you. Hold some stuff. Aluminum baseball bat. Really, that's her weapon of choice. Uh, maybe you should have the Death Claw Gauntlet. How about that? You can hold on to that. Um, I don't know if you're gonna do anything, but I'll, I'll give you some whiskey or something. I know I have that. Uh, I got vodka. Got bourbon. Let's give you vodka. You're probably not gonna do anything with it. Hey. Hmm? Hey, where'd you get that weapon? <clears throat> What's on your mind? Uh, your thoughts? Your thoughts? Nothing's more satisfying than a smoking gun and a pocket full of caps. How do you feel about our relationship? I'm still trying to figure out what you want from me. Maybe one day I'll find out. Didn't have anything else. No problem. Okay. What a momentous day. Excuse me. What a momentous day. All right, so we're supposed to look at uh, a radio beacon. For the overseer setup, the next step is turning on a radio beacon to attract people to Vault 88. The question is, where is it at? Apparently it's back the way that we came. Um, I think it's in that room where we fought that, uh, well, actually, we didn't, I don't think we fought him in there, but, um, where that, uh, that name security guard was supposed to, uh, be at, but we, when we fought him, we brought him out, ways. Yeah, it's supposed to be in here. Ah, that's what that switch was. Okay, well, let's flip it on, then. Explore Vault 88. There we go. Back on the desktop. These screen sizes. Welcome back to the desktop. Explore Vault 88. Okay. Did that other quest complete or no? It's, we still have it. Okay. It's fine. Yeah, I, I just realized that the entire time we were unboxing that loot crate, you were like looking on a phone, so it was probably really hard to see the the items. Uh. Okay. Um. Uh, so the next thing is we have to explore. Uh, turn on Vault Tech Workshop in the northeast sector, the east sector, and the north sector. So we've kind of already cleared some of those paths. Uh, of rubble, so we can go do that. But it, it totally makes sense because in a vault, you've got your um, overseer area, you get the uh, you've got your living quarters, um, and that's usually with the cafeteria, actually. So probably uh, uh, not too much else uh, going on inside a vault that I remember. Uh, well, actually, though, the reactor room. That's another thing, too. All right, let me get rid of this freaking radiation for a bit. Um, radiation. Highway, Radex. Drink all that. Free up some space. All right, let's go check out over here first. This is uh, the north sector, so let's go check this out. That was a short-lived radio session. I probably would have had it on earlier, but I didn't think about it until I started building stuff. And then there's there's no uh, like really ambient music that plays inside a vault. Interesting. Whoa! 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 You hear that? Yeah, that uh, I shook. All right, you got me, game. Hey! There's our boy. Whoa! This my shotgun? Yeah, it's my shotgun. You know how to 
show a girl a good hey, time. Hey, you didn't have a weapon listed in your inventory, so I don't know why you're carrying that double barrel there, but uh, Robert says, but how do you like it so far? At least they put more effort into this than the other two workshops. Yeah, the other two workshops, it's like is if you just like own the actual DLCs, it just automatically appears in the game. There's no uh, quest or little tutorial thing that you know prompts it. It's just like what you buy it, you have it. With this one, um. This is all about v building a vault or whatever, so they put more effort into this than the other ones. And yeah, I can agree with that, that it's definitely better than the other two. Um, but I mean, it's interesting so far. Now that I got the building down, I was struggling with the building there for a little bit. Um, I don't know how much I'll build in here, but um, uh, that overseer room is pretty nice. Rad powered combat armor. Uh, grants additional strength the higher your rads. It'd be good for Hello, like caps. a uh, melee playthrough there, that, that armor piece there. Uh, people still complain because Fallout 4 DLC came out in two batches. Um, let's see. Fallout 4 Wiki. Did, did it really come out? Like at two separate times, add-ons. Two workshop in Nuka World for second. A workshop Automatron and Far Harbor first. So Automatron came out March twenty second. The Wasteland Workshop came out like a couple of weeks after that, and then Far Harbor was next month, which in May, and then you've got a uh, Contraptions Workshop. Vault Tech Workshop, and then Nuka World. But I, I see what you're saying. Like, this had two DLCs, you know, with quests and stuff, and then this ha only had the workshop. This had two workshops with a quest and then DLC. I guess it's, that's probably what they were complaining about. Uh, I guess Vault is somewhat comparable to Automatron. Yeah, they both have a, a like a little bit of a quest line going on there, but we, we've really only touched the surface on this one, so I will refrain from saying which quest I like better. But um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Pack. Eve sounds. What's over here? They were they were still excavating this vault when all the stuff happened, when Te bombs fell. Lighting in here looks pretty nice. There's not going to be any loot and stuff just lying around. I don't think they they pretty much just want you to build stuff. What is this? Ooh, radiated rock. Look at that. Go down this. It just wasn't for people who don't like the building. Yeah, the building in the game is kind of iffy, to be honest. Um, and then being someone that is not, you know, skilled at building things, like when it comes to structures and stuff like that. Like, I I'm not creative at all, but I'm still trying it out. Like, when we, like... When we finish this DLC and we watch the trailer for this and uh, the other workshops, it's just seeing what people have built uh, or what you can build, um, gonna blow my mind. Hey. I gotta check to make sure I can't I can't use a workshop here. Take all of that. I want to walk around without the light on, but it's really dark, so I'm just going to leave the light on, I guess. I guess they added these rats and stuff to mitigate that. 
Yeah, man. How about that uh, that legendary broodmother mole rat that you fight? Pretty cool, huh? I was just get swore I heard something. Shite. Uh, friendly fire for my own grenade. Can you imagine being locked up in a tomb like this? It would be pretty bad. Research test tube. Uh, yeah, I'm sure this is probably. Man, so they were building this vault underground, and there was a, there's like literally a subway next door. It's kind of crazy, but I mean, there was another vault that was just like this one that you actually go to in the game. I, I forgot what vault it was. Um. Yeah, that's uh. So we've got that way. We've got this way to go. Oh, this looks like a dead end. Let's see what's over here. <sighs> I really gotta take Radex right away. Uh, how many stim packs do we have? 71? Okay, so we're still pretty good on stim packs. Ice cold. Help the Overseer interview candidates. <laughs> All these ghouls coming out of everywhere. Right, there goes your legs. Ah. Nope. Putrid glowing one. Alright, let me keep running back here. Fill up. Nope. Legendary... What? Gangrenius. Cool. Alright, you're down. Do I have uh, I wouldn't happen to have like a missile launcher with me, would I? Yep, I do. Wait, I thought you were... I thought you were... I thought I took off your leg. Uh... I'm gonna come over, blow up the leg. Yeah, got them both gone. That one's just praying to the to uh, to Adam right now. <laughs> there we go. Got him back on the ground. Hey, perfect. I love Mysterious Stranger. All right, this guy and your fancy name, your fancy title. Actually, hang on, don't do that. Mike, don't kill yourself, bud, all right? Perfect. And for the final touch, a little stab stab. <laughs> well, the strip file is gonna be able to get the loot. Uh, let me remind you of a category that carried over from Mass Effect. Self-explosive death. Mines and nades went wrong. Kappa. I almost died on that other one. Whoa, whoa. You hear that? Hey, you gotta kill this one. Stab. <sighs> we did it. Alright. Gotta be something of value on him. Grab all that. Uh, 
Assassin's Maximized Laser Sniper Rifle does 50% more damage against humans. Okay. I actually need to up my, uh, like, my, my guns that I'm using. I want to have a really good, um, yes. pick that up. That's what we came down here for. I want to have a really good laser rifle or plasma rifle. Um, definitely carry some sort of, like, heavy gun, whether that is, you know, a fat man, a missile launcher, um, a, a minigun. Uh, I, I want to have, like, a good balance of weapons, because right now I'm kind of, like, I don't really like that Gauss rifle, to be honest. Uh, the unique Gauss rifle, the last minute, I don't really like that weapon. Firing it is kind of a pain. Um, I don't know. Well, I have this piece. Am I able to build in here now? Let's say I wasn't even paying attention to what it said. I have to turn on the workshop. Okay, so there's got there's gonna be a workbench like there was in the other section. Oh God. Radex, please. Okay, so it's probably in here is where it's telling me to go. I'll take the teddy bear. Right, we're not going to leave it down here. This is back. No, this is not the main room. Never mind. Alt trunk. I mean, they, they give they do a good job of giving the player a lot of space to build things if they want to. Like, that's, that's a good thing. It's not just that one room. There's other sections that you can build in. There we go. I just need to activate it. I don't need to build anything here. Um, pick up all this. I don't need gas canisters. I don't think you'll ever be able to excavate, like, additional spots or whatever. It's probably just how it's going to be. I think you can actually, uh, yeah, you can remove that stuff, to be honest. Yeah. So, what's the uh, range on this? How far can I go? I'm always curious about this. Can I still build things this way? Oh, this thing goes out a long way. Dude, it's literally all of this? Whoa. This is a huge area. I think it's everything. Holy crap. Uranium fever. Yeah, get that out of there. Well, how about up the stairs? Can I clear the debris up there? Your vault, man. Dude, no kidding. I was expecting just that little room. I was not expecting all of this. But you really can't uh, clear any of this stuff out. None of this stuff you can clear. Um, that's interesting. Okay. I want to check out what this stuff is over here. We just clear this barricade. Let's see what's up here real fast. Got any food in here? Oh god. There was a raider back here. Murdered himself. Man, that rad sure is wearing off quickly. Automatic shotgun. Automatic shotgun. Take that just in case. That just means that I can shoot faster. Let's see. 
I need to give this to um, eight to hold on. Eight. Hey. Point out what you need and I'll Gotta go back, honest. Kate. Now you're gonna be sharing that with both of us, right? Hold on to that. That. Uh, how about the sword as well? I'll hold on to that. All that. The junk I can store here if I really want to. So Piper is full time out of the bed now, Kappa. We're getting there, I think. I think we're getting there until I fall in love with Piper after being uh all oh, this goes back up to the Commonwealth. Okay, well I don't want to go up there yet. Um until I fall back in love with Piper after being with uh, Kate for a while. You know. We still got a companion quest to do for Piper, I'm sure. All these rads, Jesus. Should have I could probably put the vault suit on walking around, but... Yep, I'm, I'm still gotta decide who's who's gonna be the bay. The Piper, the Kate. I think there's another companion that's female. Leave that junk behind. You're just wasting space. Hey! Piper would never tell me that. I think you're supposed to be able to remove the rads, like scrap the barrels and stuff. Yeah, I think I see how I did that back that. there. Not saying I don't like it. Just thought I'd clear the air. Oh, oh! You're really smart. How did you know I was talking like that outside of the game, ma'am? Uh, yeah, no, but some of the barrels I was removing, I, I just didn't. This better be worth it. I just didn't remove all the barrels like an idiot. Excuse me. Yeah. Your thoughts? Can't wait to get out of this goddamn heat. How do you think things are between us? We could be making more caps. But I'm hoping that'll turn itself around soon. That, that's all for now. Fine by me. That was an interesting comment just to make when we we're just walking around. I thought we were gonna talk some more or something. Uh anyways, it's here. Cola. Duct tape. Back of duct tape. Jawless Brahmin skull. That looks metal, dude. This is actually from Doom. Boy. Is this still part of building? No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it ends. Where does it end at? That is this is canically what happened to the to Antler. Okay, so it ends right here. Alright. We've got another uh section that we're close to uh finding, so we'll go ahead and do that. What's up here? I don't know if this is a an actual place we can go. rocks there. Uh, let's steal what's, what's down here because apparently it's close. Northeast sector. <sighs> this won't work without a control board. Okay, so I've got to find the board. It's upstairs. Perfect. Yeah, I really don't like that there's no ambient music in the background. It makes me feel like I need the radio on. I mean, you can hear sometimes hear the cave sounds if I would stop talking for a moment. Um, but other than that, there's no creepy cave soundtrack. Turn that bad boy on. Let's do it. What do we want to listen to? Vault 88 radio beacon? Attention people of the Commonwealth. Let's see what that says. Vault 88 is now accepting applications for the first time in 200 years. Vault Tech's motto has never been more apropos. 
Better living underground. Vault 88 is conveniently located near downtown Quincy. Apply in person to Overseer Barstow. That music. Is it actually just going to keep playing? We have our own radio station? Oh no, it ends. It ends, never mind. Cuphead? Among Us. Oh, don't remind me of Cuphead, man. Dude, I literally hated my life playing Cuphead. There were just some bosses that just made me hate life and streaming and everything. But they're coming out with DLC, are they? Wait, was it something we saw at E3? Is it that, uh, like, pot-looking lady? Cuphead DLC, The Delicious Last Course. Coming 2019. Oh, good. I'm not- I don't have to rage this year anymore at Cuphead. Yeah, it was this lady. Uh, there's a trailer for it. Uh, is- the question is... Did he give it to me for free? Probably not. We got uh, a lot of new weapons and charms and uh, new bosses to rage at. Miss Chalice. Yeah, yeah that's that's who it is. Ugh. I don't know how I feel about that. Will I play it? I feel like I have to. I really like the the singer from Good Neighbor. She's got some good tunes. Where are you coming from? I think they're up there. Oh. What was that? You could always get some radio mods, by the way. I could, but I mean... Do I really play the radio that much? The, the answer to that is not really. We've played it a handful of times throughout this playthrough, and like... Maybe like three or four times recently, but before that, I don't think we really played it. There we go. Okay, that's where that goes, and we go. I can get bombarded by, uh... Enemies again. <clears throat> Not even when building off stream? Um. Probably not, because I think I would either just listen to the radio in game or I would just listen to my own music. That's something that I would like to do, is I would like to play. You know, like all the bands and stuff that I that I listen to on stream, but it's gonna get copyright like pretty quick. Hope you enjoyed that last number. Go hit this one. Sector. Time for yet another slice of news from the Commonwealth, folks. Slice of news. Are you familiar with the old sailing ship stranded on top of a building downtown? Reports from the area suggest it'd be a good idea to avoid the ship. At all oh, costs. we started with the USS Constitution. Now, believe it or not, Give us the sword, the your dude. Much, there's much something interesting about. You heard it so here. last week. Uh, Macedon canceled some tour dates, uh, because of some stuff, and then the, uh, the, one of the guitarists, um, 
said that he wanted a like a year or two break because he's just feeling burnt out on touring and all that stuff. So I guess Mastodon's kind of on a hiatus. And then a couple of days later, The Sword, another favorite band of mine, announced that they were taking a hiatus. Uh, they canceled an Australian tour that was supposed to happen like next month. And it's like, oh my god. Who's next? Opeth? This is how it ends, I know. It, uh, compared to Macedon's... I mean, I don't think Macedon really, uh, like, uh... Like, had an, uh, official announcement like the sword. But if you read the sword's hiatus... Dude, it sounds like they're, like, done, done. But... I don't know. They st they're they playing, like, or, uh, like four shows in the U.S. Uh, within the next week or so. And then they're, that's it. But they're all East Coast shows, so... Not near me. But it's like, what is happening? Nine rocket six to nine. I mean, I, I definitely understand it. Like, it, it's probably very. Let me know if you um, It's probably very, uh, you know, tiresome to be touring all the time. Uh, not only recording records, but touring constantly, because that's what you have to do. It, Currently in the in the music industry is you've got a tour in order to make money Because nobody buys you know music anymore So it's kind of like uh... Whoa <laughs> God, that was gruesome. All right. All bands eventually quit, I know. But, I mean... I mean, bands generally take hiatuses all the time, you know, when they're working on new music. Um, but I guess the, the hiatus is more like, yo, we're not going to be making anything and we're not touring. We don't know if we'll uh, be back or not, I guess, but I don't know. It kind of sucks. But uh, there's plenty of other bands that I listen to that will fill that void. Um, there's a bunch of uh, new albums of bands that I follow that are coming out within the next month or two. So I'm pretty stoked for that. I cannot wait. Hearing too much stuff. Uh, I should probably store some junk. Heads up. Got him. Adam Bomb Baby. This is the second time we've heard this song. Um. Yeah, you can hold this stuff. Something. A Tripper, Bone Cutter. Dude, I can make someone sell stuff out of here. Pretty incredible. Ah! Da -da -da -da. Man, anytime I hear music like this, where it's like, it's just really old sounding, it gets me so hyped to, to play a Fallout or something. Like, even if I, I hear something when I'm off stream that's like remotely close to something that could be in a Fallout game, I'm just like, oh, I want to play Fallout right now, dude. That's I've been uh, recently. Uh -huh. <clears throat> My chair keeps sliding around. Uh, yeah, that's hype. There's nothing coming out for me. This year kind of sucked, to be honest. Was looking forward to so much and only liked Orphan Land's album, the one you listened to. Yeah, I haven't listened to it since then, but when I when I did listen to it, it was it was a good listen. Uh, 